Hello, this is Scott Buccino, editor of telecoms.com here at MWC 2023, and I'm talking to Sammy from VRV. So, Sammy, let's just start by you telling us what you're talking about at the show this year. Yes, I mean, um, everybody now is excited. 5G is really happening, and we are seeing a lot of deployments all over the world. But now the reality is how you make sure it's working perfectly, you know, you're getting the best performance out of it, you're getting the application that people are looking for. So we are showing a lot of our expertise in what's happening with 5G, how you can test it, how you can optimize it, how you can get the best out of it. And, and I think this is exciting because you have a lot of tools and applications that's really working with all the different players in the 5G and the ecosystem to really make sure 5G is really a good experience for everybody. Okay, uh, one of the... Um big themes this year is open RAN. Absolutely. Um, for me, from a journalistic point of view, it's not that obvious how, how widespread it is, how big it's going to be. Do you have any thoughts on that subject? So yes, I mean, open RAN is something that the industry have been talking about for a, while, for a long time. And there, there is a lot of need for it. It's not just cost optimization, but the ability to innovate and having an open environment. You know, here is, here is my personal view. Open RAN is here to stay. It is, you know, it's done. But the question is the maturity of Open RAN, right? So we are seeing some, you know, uh, glimpses of hopes, right, in some deployments. It's still going to take some time, and Open RAN is a lot of different components. I would argue that the Open Front Hall is already established, and we are seeing some actual deployments. Uh, there are a lot of testing going on around the world, and we are actually involved with all the players in Open RAN for all of these OTIC tests, you know, trying to really nail down what is the problems with open RAN, how you can get the performance there, how you can get the interoperability working. It's not just about conformance. It's can you interoperate? And I mean, there is a lot of different test cases and bring in field expertise, which Viavi has a lot in the field, to actually see how you can test this in a realistic environment. So I believe open RAN is here to stay, right? It's, it's, it's done, it's, it's going to happen. It's just the maturity and the scale of how it's going to happen. This will be the next question. OK, yeah, that's completely consistent with what I've been seeing as well. So we're here at your stand at Mobile World Congress. Perhaps you can um, talk us through some examples of what you've been talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. I mean, I will show you, I mean, what's happening with 5G and Open RAN is also this whole concept of cloudification of the network. So we'll, we'll show you what we've been doing in, in this case you know, bringing a lot of our tools and expertise into the cloud as well. So you can build an open RAN in the cloud, completely cloudified, or 5G, as we can see, 5G core or RAN, completely running in the cloud. And we can talk about that. We're seeing, you know, 5G coming now with a lot of different applications. And, you know, it's not just anymore the network and the, and the phones. It's about, you know, realistic applications, you know, uh, industrial applications, IoT, agriculture application. And th this is really the innovation what 5G and OpenRAN is going to bring in. Now, with a lot of this, you really need to be able to understand the total behavior of the network from core to edge, right? because that's, it's a continuous thing. So how you can leverage the cloud native platforms now that's being built for running the network and how you can optimize these things there. And this is really what Viavi is building now with our um, kind of integrated solutions. We call this Nitro. Uh, it's a cloud native environment that will help give you a full picture from core to edge and on different applications. What we call Nitro is network integrated test, real time analytics and optimization platform. This is really what is needed to actually make sure that you know, uh, open RAN is working. So you get data from the, from the lab, from the field, and you can actually go in and start running application to test different things. Is either you are a service provider or a cable operator or a network equipment manufacturing. And then we get all of these data with analytics, with inventory, topology, AI, ML, automation. So you can actually be able to understand the end-to-end -end workflow of your network and your application and be able to actually guarantee that you get the right performance, the right latency, all of that. So this is the kind of uh, automated tools that we have in our bringing the expertise that we had from the field, from the RAN, from the operation, into realistic uh, cloud native environment uh, running these, uh, these new applications. You know, using artificial intelligence and machine learning, complete automation and CI, CD uh, 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 platform, you know, and testing the performance of all of that. Now you have different kind of applications that can run on tap. Either you are a network equipment manufacturing or you are a cable operation, an enterprise, and we're building this kind of digital twin 
where we can run a complete network so we can test your, your behavior without actually, I call it the canary in a coal mine, before you actually go in and, and, and run it in the real environment. So this is the kind of innovation that Viavi is showing at, this, at, this, uh, at the Mobile World Congress this year. Oh, that's great. That covers it nicely. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.